Hey guys, it's Murph. You can probably tell from the title. This video is going to be about stick drift on the Xbox One controller. I have an Elite One, but this can also affect the regular Xbox One controller. Now, what is stick drift? It has to do with either joystick, and depending on which one it is, when your joystick's at the resting position, your guy will either or your character on the game will either be looking in circles, the camera view will be changing, or if it's the left joystick, your character or a person or whatever you're playing will be moving in different directions. Now with my controller, the person moves forward. So even though the, the joystick will be at the resting position like that, my guy on screen will be walking forward out of nowhere. Now, when I move the guy and stop, he will stop. And then all of a sudden he'll start moving forward again. All of a sudden it pauses for about a second and then it goes. Now this isn't too bad. The guy just walks forward slowly. I mean, I'm sure it could be worse, but I'm just going to show you a quick fix uh, for this controller, the Elite or the regular, because I'm pretty sure they use the same modules and the joysticks. And this, this fix has nothing to do with the controller itself. This is a software fix, and it worked for me, and it might work for you. But my stick drift wasn't too bad. Now, I use my controller. Now, I know this is probably blasphemy for you PC guys, but I use my controller with my PC, so I'm going to show you that way. But I'm pretty sure with the Xbox, you can do the same thing through settings. So as you can see here, I've been playing Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. And if you look, first you got to turn your controller on, make sure it's on, if you're doing it on PC like me. And then for some reason it's not popping up. Okay, I'm going to go back. Now, if you can see this, you have controller configuration right here. Okay? Now, this is the way I play it. Now, like I said, it's my left joystick. Okay? You go into left joystick settings. You go into the dead zone. Okay? Now, see, this the dead zone, if you can see that, the line right here is the stock setting. Now, I increased it up to here. Now, what is the dead zone? That means it's the spot where your controller is not activating. The dead zone is like, you know, this area right here where it's at resting position. It's not activated. Now, when you increase the dead zone, it makes that area bigger. By how much? I'm sure it varies game to game. But by increasing that, it takes more pushing to actually activate the controller because the area where it's not activated has been increased if you can understand what i'm saying okay so basically now whatever my stick drift was the problem has been solved because i increased the area where the controller will not activate so this actually worked for this and i can you can also increase the dead zone on this joystick too if you're having a problem with this one okay now it's going to vary game to game whether you're on pc or xbox one it has to be in the settings. But if you can do it and you can increase your dead zone, you should be able to fix it. Now, this will probably depend on how bad your stick drift is. I mean, if your stick's wandering like you're pushing it all the way up here or something, even though you're not, it might not fix something that severe because it's just, you know, too aggressive of a problem. But for me, like I said, it was like, if I can show you, it, it was like the controller was pushed about that much. Even though it wasn't being touched, it looked it was like it was touched that much. So now with the dead zone increased, it doesn't activate when it moves that far. It has to be moved farther for it to activate. If you guys can understand what I'm saying, I'm trying to explain it as easily as possible. So guys, this was just a quick video. It worked for me, and uh, hopefully it'll work for you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.